This should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law! Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around! Real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp! Yeah, and just about everybody in town it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. He kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Maybe it was the squids. They're all pretty suspicious looking. Nonsense! We squids would never take something that didn't belong to us. I raised these boys upright. That's right, she did. Yipper! I'm sure you did. No, it's not any of the squids. Oh, well then who is it? Who's Mr. Big? Mr. Big must be Sahara Slim. I assure you, I'm not your perpetrator. We saw you sending a telegram. You said, keep them on ice. Yep, that was about some suspects in another case. You see, I'm here undercover. I'm actually Sahara Slim, under sea marshal. <laughs> I sure didn't expect that. I'm here investigating possible violations of the Undersea Coffee Break statutes. <coughs> I guess you're probably not a rustler then. That was smart to notice the telegram, but he's not Mr. Big. So who is? Who's Mr. Big?
Is it Cousin Calico? She could have arranged to wrestle her own hogfish. Why would she want to do that? Um, for insurance money? I haven't got any wrestling insurance. Oh. Who is Mr. Big? Was it Stella from the Soda Loon? If she has a wrestling business on the side, that might explain how she can afford to give out sodas on the house. Oh, come now. It certainly wasn't me. And soda is a lot cheaper than you think. Really? Very. Yes, it wasn't Stella. She's an honest businesswoman. Okay. But then, who's the mastermind? Gil Barker is Mr. Big. Me? Yes. We overheard you talking to a shark about a really big deal you had going on. Might that deal have had something to do with a certain herd of hogfish? Well, no, actually. The deal I was working on was selling 300 packs of Super Rubber Bubble Bubble Gum to the Squid family here. They reserved my entire stock, except for one licorice-flavored pack. We love the stuff. It kills the taste of the ink. Yeah, it's great. Yep. Oh, so that means Gil Barker isn't Mr. Big? No, he isn't. But that was good thinking to remember the shark. Thanks. Well, if it's not Gil Barker, then which one of us is it? Was it you, the male snail? Say now. No, it wasn't him. He would have been stuck with his broken wagon when it all happened, remember? Oh, yeah! Well, who then? I'll bet it's Nelson Torso. Oh, uh, but, uh, but, um... Business hasn't been very good at just buckles lately, has it? Well, no, but... And I noticed that you were building a barbell at your shop. Big enough for hogfish, maybe? No. You see, everyone thinks I keep in such great shape at my shop. I'm starting to get a little flabby. So, the barbell... It's for me, yes! <gasps> but I'm not a wrestler! No, he isn't. It's not Nelson? That was a good guess, but no, it's not him. Then which one of us is it? I bet it was those two construction workers. They probably need the extra money for coffee. Does uh, rustling pay more than construction work? I doubt it. No, the construction workers are innocent. Is it Sheriff Shrimp? As the sheriff, he'd probably understand the criminal mind better than anyone. That's true, I do. But I'm no rustler. Yes, it's not the sheriff. Well... Who is it, then? Bill, when we were at the soda loom and we found the note telling the rustlers to meet here, you made a phone call to someone. You were talking about the note. Well, I... Later on, you made another call. This time you were talking about singing this little piggy. Well, sure. And when we got here and found the hogfish, I noticed this. What's that? It's sheet music, Sheriff. The sheet music to this little piggy, to be exact. No need to go on. It's my music. Moray was having trouble getting the hogfish to sleep. So I suggested he try singing this little piggy to them. Fat lot of good that did. Phil, does that mean that you're... You're... I'm... Mr. Big. Yes. 
I, I never meant to hurt anybody, you understand. It's just that I've got 17 children, and I don't make that much as a piano player. I thought Hogfish Ranching might bring in a little extra cash. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats? Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the buffalo <laughs> play. Do you really want to restart the game? <laughs> Phil? Well, I'm glad that's what... Oh, give me a home Where the buffalo roam Where the deer and the antelope play. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine. You get a line, I get a pole. Y'all go down the crawdad that hole, darling. Sugar pop pop, sugar pop pop pop. <laughs> Uh. 
Do you really want to quit? Do you really 